94, neo-literacy. Okay. Here in the Information Revolution, ironically, people's efforts to get together seem to be determined by the elimination of words without even considering the digital domain. If you're looking for a partner in the pages of your local paper, you don't call yourself a straight white male. No, save money and space by calling yourself an SWM. Fortunately, when people see a personal's ad that says SWM seeks SWF or a little uh, light SM, they don't read it as SWM seeks SWF or light SAM. If they do, they're in the wrong place. They know that this ad means some poor schmuck wants to meet a woman for a little light sadomasochism, just as surely as a person looking for a place to live. And the classified section of the newspaper knows that furplek means fireplace and gurg means garage. So, I have to ask, is Armenia for abbreviation getting out of hand? Is American English setting on an SOS, attention span RIP? And strictly FYI, my POV is, yeah. E.g., a little Q&A. Does R really keep out the G's? Does an X or NC-17 really turn our nation's youth into JDs? If you suffer from the DTs and you're not an AA, should you be allowed to join AAA? If we keep selling IOUs in the future, COD, won't our GNP be zip? How are we supposed to know the difference between UHF and VHS, LED and LCD, ELO and PLO, CD and CD, IRA and IRA? Which one will save you money in taxes? Which one will shoot you in the kneecaps if you smile at a Brit? With so much confusion today, no wonder we're all looking for a little R&R or an HMO at the very least. Most of us have a GF, or if you're an SF or GM, a BF. There's something wrong with having a little R and B and a, and a CD, relax with an OJ and a BJ. If you're alone, what's wrong with a little J-O? You know what I'm talking about. Even if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can still take action. Relations between strangers and intimates often require no words at all, and that's okay. But on the information highway, knowing what VR or MS-DOS means is SOP. You need to know the difference between a CD-ROM, CD-1, CD plus G in a hole in the ground, or you never get in the interactive door. I don't even talk about how MPEG-2 will affect all this. You've got to know whether HDTV needs DBX or Dolby NRBC or S. Maybe you should just go with IDTV. Who knows? What about the TV of tomorrow? Will PPV play an important part? We'll be able to get PIP or POP with PPV if we choose to pay for it. Maybe we should just forget the whole thing. Who needs a DOS if you have a meaningful relationship? But even there, whether you're a GM, GF, AC, DC, whatever, we need to TCB with a little TLC, maybe even TLS. Some might say as long as it's SS, where's the harm in GS, GT, B and D, S and M, FF, even doing whatever the hell that guy was doing with Marla Maple's shoes? Should we care? Personally, I don't mind. I do it with a pre-op TV as long as it's BYOB and KY. The metal aids are UL approved and someone pays my P&W. I mean, what's the sense in doing things in the QT? I'm no W-E-S-E-O. I'm not even a VP. I'm just an S-E-S-W-M whose sex life has taken a T-O. I'd frankly enjoy making a T-D on OT with an S-F-M, even with DMV or the CIA. I don't even care. Anything but E-T. That'd be too weird. I guess it all begins with that first step. To the that means leaving a little VA on someone's VM. I'll even email if I have to. I'm that desperate. S-W-A-K. I gotta go.